The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out the day looking at Apple, folks. I want you to notice that when you see the big Gartley pattern that formed there, you can see the two triangles in light yellow there. That was a, a 382 on the weekly chart. And then, as you can see, we rallied up here for 10 days, stopping right at the 382, and we've since broken down below it. Folks, this is about as bearish pattern as you can possibly get. So I wouldn't be holding anything, even though we did get a notice from our good friend from Astro Trends, Mr. Norm Winsky said he has a, a, a buy signal coming up in the next day or two on his now signal, N-O-W. That, I believe that's his uh, handle for his name, Norman Winsky. And anyway, if uh, pay close attention to that because we also have the summer solstice coming up here uh, on the uh, 20th. That'll be uh, Monday, which was uh, will be a closed day, I believe. And so let's uh, remind is that right? Monday will be closed. Yeah, because Father's Day is, uh, yep, Father's Day and then uh, June 19th is the uh, uh, national holiday, so we're going to be closed for a bit. The market has been down 11 out of 12 weeks, folks. The number of times that's happened in my lifetime, I think, is once. So we got to pay close attention to it. However, we do live in interesting times. So here's what I'd be looking at. Anyway, uh, let me get to this level right here. By the way, the if you were in that if you're in that call on Apple, and it's anywhere near break even, and the call is doesn't cost very much. I believe it's probably worth holding into Tuesday because uh, if it does surprise, any surprise I think will will be to the upside. But I've got to show you some of the things that these go around the Internet all the time and you got to be, you know, listening to what people say. But this is one that uh, came out. Uh, this shows the comparison between uh, 2008 and where we are right now. They are very similar, folks. There's no question about it. This was very, very important right in here because I was trading every day with Tom Hugard over in the UK during that time. And he had just left his job as, you know, the point man for Michael Spencer there on CNBC. And uh, it was really he was really into trading quite a bit. And uh, we were short during this time here. And uh, that was, a, you know, a huge move to the downside. Now, we are we have a very similar pattern right here. There's no question about it. It's bearish because we had an eight-day rally that went exactly to the 382. The market's breaking down badly, folks. Uh, I, I we've been talking about this since May 4th. That every rally that we've seen in that S and P has just basically been nothing more than a 382 pattern. That's all it's been. Those of you uh, that were listening to Tommy O'Brien. Uh, early this morning, he pointed out uh, very aptly that the uh, this is the uh, one from I got from our folks over in London. This is what they trade when they're doing their uh, ETF stuff over there. But that's it right there. This is the same thing. We missed the S&P number by seventy five dollars. The three eight two number was uh, thirty seven uh, fifteen. It got to thirty seven thirteen and a half. The Dow Jones made it exactly to the exact tick. And I'll bring that up to you. I know I saved that one because I thought it was uh, relatively important. Uh, da, 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 da. And a drum roll, please. <laughs> there it is. We got it. Here, we get this up here. Not only that, but it did it twice. Let's get this up here so you can see it. It did it early in the day, and then it did it uh, later in the evening, too. So it hit that exact number twice. And then, it, of course, it sold off quite a bit. So these 382s. Have been working on. By the way, our guest today will be Tim Bost, Financial Cycles Weekly. It's always fun. He'll be talking to us uh, about Bitcoin, and I think that's important. If you remember yesterday, folks, we were talking about you know little ABCD patterns and stuff, and we were talking about the Dow Jones Industrial Average. I'm only I'm only doing this for people that are new to TFNN and to the YouTube stuff because those of you who've been around for a while follow this daily. But you can see that you know the pattern we had here, beautiful ABCD. Right there, giving you a target 
down at this level right here. That's what we pointed to. And all we did was we went in and then looked at it a little bit later. And you'll be able to see that uh, I didn't update the chart because it was late in the day. But you can see here that the I, I put the low of the day and you'll be able to see it real easy. Here was how it ended up. We got all the way down to 29,000. Uh, I think 732, it missed that number by 32 Dow points, 150 bucks. Then, of course, it had a rally up to the 38% 38 retracement, well over 500 points, and now it's heading back down again. These numbers don't work all the time, folks, but they work a lot of the time, and that's what's really, really important. If you'll remember, we talked about crude oil yesterday. Let's just go through this crude oil because I, I – I have learned something every day that I do this with TFNN. Somebody is always sending me some great information, and I'll tell you, it it's really pays its, uh, pays its dividend. So anyway, there's the big ABCD to the downside that you see right here. It's absolutely spot on. You can see the number was 111, uh, or excuse me, 112, 112, uh, 37 was the low. The ABCD measured to 112, 47, and from there, we had a tiny bit of a rally. And I, I, this is really important to me, folks. I don't really care whether you listen to what I have to say or not, but these numbers uh, speak for themselves. So you ought to pay attention to that. Let's take a quick look here. Got too much to talk about today. Hold on. Okay, there was the low that we had right here. Okay, from there, folks, we went straight up. And look at this. We pulled back one time right here. There was your 382 retracement. And I'll tell you, folks, the 382 is such an important part of the Fibonacci sequence that it's just absolutely flat out amazing. Now, look what happened after that. And then what do you, wait till you see what happened after that, because this is a this is a game changer, folks. I tell you, I. Uh, well, anyway, look, there's your 382 that we just saw. OK, from there. OK, you ran another three thousand dollars to the upside. OK, now that number that we made up here almost at 118 was a 50% retracement of that whole move down from 123. Now, here's the key. Oh, and we got just a little bit of time left. We'll cover that, and I'll cover it when we get back from the break. Here is the key. I just want to show you something, because when you see this, you're going to see it once, and then you're going to see it again, and that's what we want to be watching. So hold on just one second. Get this up here right now. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Is this it? Yep, here it is. Here's the first one. I got a sequence of these, so hang on because uh, I've really learned something here these last three days from one of our friends over in Switzerland that shared me some information. He was so happy to learn about 3A2 that he shared something with uh, you know with me that I think is very important. Look what happens when it breaks at 3A2 after making a new high, folks. Wow. Now you think that's exciting? You should see some of these others that we have in here. Okay, let's move on to just a second. We'll get this thing out of the way here uh, just a little bit. If you remember, we did that soybean trade yesterday. If you remember, you know, selling July soybeans there at uh, uh, 1722. Uh, They've now broken 15 cents to the downside. So if you're in that trade, make sure you book your profit in here because that's what the profit objective was. I believe we had this up here. Let's get this up here and take a quick look at it. And then we'll be back with... Uh, some more interesting information, at least from my perspective, 877-927-6648. booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. 
Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're back. Uh, I, want, I posted a chart here that someone was kind enough to send us, Mike, uh, over in uh, Krakow, Poland. Hello, Mike. Glad you're listening to us today. But anyway, this shows the relationship uh, very similar to what we showed between 2008 and 2022. But this shows all the different markets. What's interesting, you'll see the lower level, the lower arrow down here at the bottom. You'll see it right in there. This one right here is related to the 1929 uh, market okay this is where we are right now okay so let's pay quite you know close attention to that i'm not saying there's going to be a crash i'm saying just be really careful look what's happened to the cryptos folks we have went from 66,000 down to 20,000 it's taken a long time six months those of you that listen to the or watch the uh, trade what you see newsletter each week realize that john jameson became extremely bearish up there around that 66,000 level, we had a big ABCD there. We talked about it many times, looking for the market to come down below 20,000. We're almost there right now. Folks, in the life of the Bitcoin, it's had four 80% corrections, and we're in the fifth one right now. So what history says, take a look at it. All I can tell you is just be really careful in here. The market is incredibly oversold between down being 11 out of 12 weeks being down. But the fact is, the one week that it was up, it went to the 382 and then broke. Folks, that is really bad. I mean, come on. That's not that's – not, uh, that's not bad. I mean, that's terrible. The other one that looks really interesting, folks, here, and that is the TLT. Let's get this up here. I wanted to show you because we got something going here for a rally. And believe me, this rally in the bonds could really scare the bejeebies out of people. I'm talking about a ten or 15000 maybe even more dollar rally in bonds. What would call that? cause that? No clue. No clue at all. All I tell you is you're seeing signs of it. Let me show you the first sign. We had the lower low in the Treasury bonds uh, by one tick yesterday. Okay, the the TW uh, the Treasury notes didn't make it. They were six ticks off, which is a lot in Treasury notes. Now they've had a pretty substantial rally. Now if we go back and look at the same thing, like we talked about, you know, with the crude oil and stuff, just look at look at what's happening to the bonds here. Let's just get this up here today. 
you'll be able to see. Remember, if we on the crude oil, we talked about what three eight two retracements in strong trending markets, and believe me, folks, the three eight two does not work very often unless you have a strong trending market. And here is a strong trending market. Look, there's there's the low that we had in the bonds. Okay, it took out that previous low here by one tick, then makes a perfect A. B, C, D. A, B equals C, D. Backs off. Doesn't quite make the 3A2. Doesn't quite make the 3A2. And then this morning, it makes the 3A2. And now, as long as that 3A2 holds, this thing has a chance to have a really substantial rally. Could be a flight to quality. Could be short covering. Could be anything under the sun. And believe me, the sun is pretty bright. Now, let me show you uh, what happened uh, I want to give you a really update of what happened here on the crude oil here because this is where the where the pedal meets the metal. Let's get this up here to see it today. Just can't believe the volatility that we're having in these markets. Okay, there's the 382. From there, we rallied up $3,000. Look what happened today when the 382 broke. In other words, when it broke the 382 from this level, bada bing, bada boom, and it's still dropping, folks. We're down 10 grand. Are you kidding me? Oh, nine grand, excuse me. That nine grand. That that's just uh, just absolutely totally amazing. If you remember when I came on the show, uh, I said there was a really good pattern showing there's a top in the nat in the not of the natural gas, of course, but then also in the uh, crude oil at the seven eight six, the beautiful three drive to a top pattern that we had in the heating oil. And the expansion pattern that we had at the gasoline and the gasoline and the heating oil broke only made 382 retracements just like we did in the Treasury bond, uh, the credit, the July crude at night 119, 119.50. Okay, from there it went 19.50 all the way down to what, uh, uh, 912, 7,000, then up 5,000. And now it's given all of that back. And that's it. And that mainly those rallies and that in gasoline. And in heating oil, were only 382 rallies, just like we had in the credit, in the what you call it, the credit, uh, credit, <laughs> crude oil. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so another another good point of interest here is about the Russell. Here, I want to bring this up so you'll. Uh, some folks send me some really interesting charts that I have to share with you. The Russell is the first of the indices that have gone below when we had the high on COVID here, then we had the COVID break in March. We're now below that level of that high. Whether that means anything or not, I don't know, but it's something to think about. That means that everybody bought it from there to there is now underwater. Now, that's not a good sign. You know, so this it. Folks, you know, <laughs> how do I put this? I'll do this in English, okay? I am a technician. I do not listen to these bozos out there. I don't care who they are or what they're saying. I listen to what they say, and I try to do the opposite the best I can if the pattern tells me to do that. All right? The one thing I know about this thing is the only thing you can control is your risk. That's the only thing you can control. Someone asked me, what do I do in the morning? The first thing I do in the morning, I say a little morning prayer. I do one minute of breathing exercises. I listen to Tony Robbins for three minutes, his uh, power tapes, three minutes, different subjects, whatever it happens to be. And then I go and I start to look to see what I expected the markets to do and see if it's following through uh, and what patterns I might be looking at early this morning. One of those patterns for today, of course, was soybeans, and it worked quite nicely. Now, the 382 worked perfectly in the Dow Jones. You didn't get filled in the S&P because it missed it by $75. But, but that one worked okay. Uh, the, the Treasury bonds made the 382 retracement, worked pretty good. So all I'm looking at each day is I'm looking at about five or six different things. Do I trade five times a day? Not very often, folks. Uh, not very often. I try to trade what I see and not what I think. And if you think that I am foolproof in all the things that I do, I have just the same trading flaws that you have, folks. I act impatiently, okay? I don't wait for the pattern to complete. I do the same things. The difference between you and I is I recognize that trait just as soon as I do the trade and I try to rectify it. The one thing that will prevent you from doing that is stop watching the monitor all day long. 
that is your biggest failure because you're going to A, overtrade, okay? You're going to make more mistakes. Find the patterns that you like, the one, two, or three of them, and, and do those. You know, you're not here to compete with anybody else. You're here to make a living. And that, that's why I think it's uh, important to remember that you know, we do have these things to uh, to talk about. By the way, I will mention this. This is the first time in about two years, maybe longer, that I've gotten an absolute verified uh, signal from Mr. Norm Winsky, where he said the low or the low should uh, the, the the bottom should be probably Tuesday morning, if not today, is what he said. So let's put a put his feet to the fire. What do you think? Hey, we're going to talk about fire. We got the fireball man himself coming up next from Financial Cycles Weekly, Stan Harley. I'm just joking, Timmy. It's going to be you, Timmy Boss. Who loves you, baby? If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den and Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. .com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that we'll even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We have Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly on the line. Happy Father's Day to you, Tim, and thanks for joining us today. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. You know, I hate Father's Day because I get about 25 different calls, anonymous, of course, wishing me Happy Father's Day. I don't know where it <laughs> comes from, but I, do you have the same problem? Well, I, I do get the calls. Who knows who those those people are? <laughs> my, my daughters used to joke, Dad, how come you don't get any of your calls other than us? <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. Well, I was a good Catholic boy. That's why. Hey, listen, go right mm -hmm. ahead, pal. Uh, so we've got uh, some interesting things coming up this uh uh, this week here, I'm trying to get my slides to do their thing here. Let's just see if we can uh, do this and maybe do it like this. 
Okay, I think, yeah, well, we, there we go. should be up there, I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that, I, I've been uh, de dealing with some glitchiness uh, technologically here this morning. But anyway, we do oh. have an event uh, happening on Tuesday. Uh, it is the solstice uh, coming up. We're going to call this the Cancer Solstice. Uh, in the Northern Hemisphere, it is the summer solstice, the first day of summer. But for our friends down under, it's the first day of winter, the winter solstice. So uh, it is, in fact, the date in which the sun moves into the zodiacal sign of Cancer. Uh, that applies whether you're north or south of the equator, and so we'll refer to it as the cancer solstice. This, by the way, was something that W.D. Gann paid a lot of attention to, uh, these quarter dates of the year, and uh, he did some pretty amazing work with that, uh, with his uh, uh, square of nine and, and other uh, uh, calculation tools and his whole methodology for approaching the markets. Uh, so we like to kind of follow suit uh, with that and, and be able to... Uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 follow follow his example, uh, so, so to speak. Um, at any rate, uh, let's see here. We can get this thing. There we go. And get it uh, displaying here properly. Perhaps we'll see there. Okay, that may be a little bit better. Um, now let's see if we can get it to advance. Okay. All kinds of strangeness here. What's going on? There, there we go. Uh, so let's take a look at the S&P and the typical behavior of the S&P uh, at the time of uh, the cancer solstice uh, is uh, pretty significant here. Uh, what we're going to be looking at is uh, several different charts. And what we want to determine is the difference in the uh, trading patterns uh, that's typical at this time of year. Now, of course, this is part of an annual cycle. Uh, but uh, we have that zero point in the middle. That is the date uh, that the sun moves into Cancer, the first day of summer in the, in the northern hemisphere, uh, the, the uh, solstice uh, that we're concerned with. And this is what's coming up next Tuesday on the 21st of June. To the left of that in each of these diagrams, we've got 30 calendar days before and then 30 calendar, day, uh, calendar days afterwards uh, based on the average performance of the S&P. And what we can see is uh, right after the solstice, uh, typically the S&P takes a little bit of a nosedive for about a week and then begins to rebound uh, after that. Uh, so that's what we're interested in in, in uh, uh, tracking here along the way. Uh, so what we've done is uh, done our back testing here in each of these cases that we're going to share uh, for the, the cancer solstice and determine what we consider the optimum trading opportunity coming up uh, during the, the next couple of weeks based on this particular planetary phenomenon. Uh, and uh, <laughs> uh, in this case, we're looking at uh, waiting a week after the solstice. Remember, we saw that little uh, dip in the, in the uh, averages there uh, about uh, a week after the the exact date. So it looks most advantageous uh, to buy a long position uh, in the SPX on uh, Tuesday, the uh, 28th of June. And this is a little bit of a longer time frame on this trade. It's a swing trade that we would close out on Thursday, the 14th of July, a little over two weeks uh, there in duration for that uh, trade. This has an 82.1% probability of giving us uh, positive results here with an average ROI of a little over a one and a half percent, one point six one percent would be our expected return from this trade. So it's a fairly clear cut uh, setup there, and again, uh, uh, based on that eighty two percent probability, we would feel confident uh, taking uh, this particular uh, trade along the way. Now this is gold, and it's a little different pattern uh, that when we saw with the S and P. Uh, what we see is a decline starting about two, two weeks prior to the solstice, and then uh, kind of a congested uh, trading bottom there, an extended one. Uh, from about uh, 10 days prior to the solstice to uh, uh, seven or eight days afterwards, something like that. So uh, a, a, almost a three-week period of kind of a flattened bottom uh, with uh, the gold trading dynamic, and then things uh, resume a, a bullish uh, trend after that. Uh, so it, it's interesting when we see these uh, astrological charts that, that coincide so precisely with uh, these dates and offer us uh, these uh, uh, guidelines, so to speak, in terms of the trading. With gold, we've done some back testing here as well, uh, checked it out. It looks best to buy this actually on the, the date of the solstice, uh, which will be next Tuesday, the 21st of June. And then we'd hold this one. Until uh, Tuesday, the uh, the twelfth of, of July. Uh, so that would be what a three week uh, a, a run on on that particular position. Uh, this has a little lower probability, so it might be a little iffy. Uh, you know, uh, gauge it against your own risk tolerance here. Uh, a little shy of sixty five percent probability of being a winning trade. For me, that's kind of on the borderline. Not sure if we take this or not. Uh, with an average ROI expected of about two and a half percent for that one. Uh, so it looks like a, a decent trade 
but again, uh, you know, be cautious and, and measure it in terms of your own risk tolerance so with these uh, suggested trades that we're looking at here. Uh, we like yeah. to look at oil yeah. from time to time, and certainly that's been very much in the news, continues to be so. Uh, and oil, of course, uh, does have some seasonal uh, dynamics, and this uh, chart, I think, illustrates this one very, very nicely as we move into the solstice there. Uh, 30 days prior to it, it tends to be fairly choppy, congested trading. And then uh, just about a week afterwards, uh, the, the prices begin to accelerate to the upside. Uh, we've certainly seen a lot of the uh, upside plays uh, with the, the oil markets in, in general uh, you know, uh, up until now, but uh, seasonally at, le at least, this is what we'd be expecting in that market. Here we're tracking, by the way, uh, you know, USO, which is the uh, ETF uh, for uh, oil futures here. Uh, so uh, in, in this case, we're looking at setting up a trade there. We're going to wait until the day after the solstice on the 22nd, uh, which would be next Wednesday, and then we would hold this until Friday, uh, July the 1st, about a week and a half exposure there on that uh, on that trade. Uh, this has a 75% probability of giving us uh, winning results. We like to see that kind of uh, average uh, when getting into a situation like this one, and we think that uh, may be worthwhile as, as well. In this case, expected ROI just a little uh, north of uh, 3% of return that we'd be looking for uh, on that on that trade. Now, we do a lot of work, of course, with the indices and the metals and other things, but from time to time, we like to take a peek at some individual equities as well. Uh, with our publication, Financial Cycles Weekly uh, newsletter, uh, we regularly highlight uh, individual equities uh, trades, and so we're uh, kind of got a toe in the water there also. In this case, we're looking at the behavior of a little stock called Apple uh, that, uh, and how it behaves around the time of the solstice. Interesting pattern here because it's not that dissimilar from what we saw earlier with uh, gold and that uh, decline into uh, the period prior to the solstice and then uh, taking, in this case, about two weeks before it begins to, to rally out of that. But a clear uh, zone of congestion uh, around the time of the uh, uh, cancer solstice, the beginning of summer, uh, north, northern hemisphere here. Uh, so when we see that kind of pattern, uh, the question is, how do we find the optimum trade setup? So we experiment a little bit here. Of course, we're getting close to the date already. Already, so we have to pretty much uh, take that into consideration. Uh, the most advent advantageous opportunity here looks like uh, entering a trade on uh, Tuesday, the 28th of June uh, for a trade in Apple. Uh, this would uh, be one week after the date of the solstice on the 21st. And then we'd hold this until Friday, the 15th of, of July. So extended swing trade there. 84% probability of a winning trade. ROI of over 18%. So we like to look for that one. Tim, we've got to play a few bills here. Can you stay with us for another segment? Absolutely. We'll be back with Tim Boss, folks. Financial Cycles Weekly. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back with Tim Buss, Financial Cycles Weekly. Tim, could you continue, please? And you are going to have a little segment maybe on the cryptos? Absolutely, yeah. We'll talk about that in just a second here. We've got one more uh, individual equity okay. trade we wanted to flag here as well. Uh, this is Amazon. Of course, lots of att attention and, and much turmoil there all the time. Uh, but what happens is the trading picture flattens out for about uh, 30 days or so prior to the uh, solstice, and we get uh, more or less congested trading on average. And then about a week afterwards, uh, things get into gear and prices tend to increase uh, with Amazon. So our optimum trade setup here is to buy on Tuesday the 28th, a week after the date of the solstice. In this case, a very, very short-term swing trade that we're looking at close Closing out that position two days later on the 30th of June, this has an 84% probability of being a winning trade, uh, an average expected ROI of about 2.5% uh, with that one. Wow. like this one That's a lot great. simply because it's a very short-term exposure in, in the markets and a pretty high probability there. Yeah, big payoff, two and a half percent. That's not uh, chump change. Yeah, That's not, pretty not, good. yeah, exactly. So, I think we'll we'll take a take a, a, a plunge on that one. We got another week here. <laughs> so, let's talk about uh, Bitcoin. That's on everybody's mind. I've been getting all kinds of calls and correspondence and complaints. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so, uh, hey, they can't our... complain because you said it was going to be going lower. So, I don't know why they would. Well, be hello. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Operator, are <laughs> you there? <laughs> Just for point of review here, this is uh, our price progress of Bitcoin going back to the beginning of uh, 2021. So this is about a year and a half here that we've got uh, on this uh, chart. And what we've been using for some time now are these planetary price lines uh, for Venus. Those are the uh, more or less diagonal green lines. And uh, Kronos, our trans-Neptunian friend uh, with the horizontal purple lines, uh, providing levels of support and resistance. And we've been uh, very, very fascinated by the way that Kronos holds uh, support and resistance. These are significant zones along these planetary lines uh, regardless of which way the price is going here. So uh, we're definitely on uh, the, the downside of it. I think, yeah, we can zoom in here a little bit and take a closer look at the current action here. Uh, so what we have seen was a break below. This in, in fact occurred last Sunday uh, at uh, uh, the, the key uh, support level of 28,210 and so we immediately alerted our subscribers that this was a, a major signal uh, that we had a, a, a decline uh, hitting at that point and breaking through that support at 28,210. Uh, and of course, we've seen it declining uh, uh, since that point. I checked this uh, earlier today and it was at 20,714. I haven't looked at it in the last hour, so we don't know. But it's probably still around that range. We'll see. Um, but uh, at any rate, what we're looking at next is support here at 19,210. It has not traded uh, down to that level yet. It has hit uh, the uh, you know the, the 2,000 uh, or 20 20,000 mark and a little bit below that uh, intraday. Uh, but uh, we're looking at this as a potential support zone. 
However, we also want to pay attention to this next lower increment all the way down to $10,210 uh, per Bitcoin. And that is a first harmonic Kronos line. Notice that it's a little bit thicker than some of these other purple lines. Uh, at the very top of the chart there, you can see the one at 46000 uh, was also a first harmonic Kronos line. So we're doing this in, in fourth harmonic divisions uh, of these Kronos lines. And those heavier ones are much, much stronger, Potentially. So if we do break below the 19,210 mark, uh, I would expect that uh, uh, lower line down at 10,000 to have huge magnetic force and pull the price lower uh, fairly dramatically at that point. So keeping a close eye on this. We're also looking at this from a longer term perspective. We did our uh, cycle analysis here and uh, some uh, uh, work with composite cycles to try to determine what's uh, working with uh, Bitcoin. And this is our uh, composite cycle chart with some astrological factors added as well. The first one, uh, at, uh, number A there on the right, it comes up on the 19th of July. Uh, and this will be a Chiron retrograde station and an Apollon direct station on the same day. Uh, we're actually looking at the potential for Bitcoin prices continuing to decline into that point. There may be congestion, and certainly it's so volatile that we could get up days uh, along the way. But I think that's going to be a significant level then to trigger a potential longer-term moves to the upside. Uh, and our way stations along the way will be the 8th of uh, September when Mercury goes retrograde. And then the 16th of uh, September, with Chiron goes direct, we expect a little bit of a pullback then, heading toward an ultimate high in mid-October, on the 14th of October, with a Kronos retrograde station. Again, we're tracking Kronos here as a key factor with our trading chart uh, for planetary support and resistance. So a retrograde station there uh, could have some uh, extra significance uh, with uh, Bitcoin. And just to be uh, you know, on the safe side here, or to, to play with the same thing we were looking at earlier, uh, this is how Bitcoin responds to the cancer solstice that we were talking about earlier. This is what we have coming up on Tuesday. Uh, the sun moving in the sign of the cancer, beginning of summer in the northern hemisphere, beginning of winter in the southern hemisphere. And notice that Bitcoin is very, very volatile most of the time, tends to calm down enormously around the time of that uh, solstice, uh, this time of the year. And so for the next 30 days or so, we're looking at the potential for some fairly congested uh, trading, relatively speaking, <laughs> with Bitcoin. That could be swings of seven or 800 points <laughs> in an hour. <laughs> but uh, you know, for Bitcoin, that's pretty <laughs> calm, right? So, yeah, it is. Uh, you know, it sure is. It's, it's kind of wild there. At any rate, we're looking at here as an uh, entry point for a short sale. In this case, uh, we're looking at selling short uh, on uh, the 21st. That'll be on the date of the solstice and buying to cover uh, that Friday. Uh, so a very short-term trade here as well, just three days exposure there. 90% probability of this being a winning trade. Uh, expected ROI of a little over 4.5% uh, for that. Uh, a reminder here, though, uh, that uh, our data for Bitcoin is, is still uh, fairly minimal. We don't have a lot of, of uh, previous examples to, to test on. And uh, certainly, especially with short uh, side positions, uh, the risk is infinite there. So be cautious, be alert, know what you're doing if you're going to get into that particular trade along the way. Okay, that's really good. Do you have any upcoming webinars, Tim? Absolutely. We've got uh, one scheduled for tomorrow, in fact. Occasionally we do weekend ones, and that will be the case uh, tomorrow. Connect with us at bit.ly slash Tim Larry P. Uh, that will uh, take you to a form where you can get on our list for notification with all of our webinars uh, and other programs that we have to offer. Uh, we have a variety of tools and training programs, including uh, WD GAN courses, and uh, we are uh, just getting ready to launch an, a new brief training program we're calling uh, the Quick Start Money Machine, how you can use uh, your trading to uh, uh, do some serious uh, uh, renovation of your personal cash flow. Uh, so that's what we're all about with that, uh, that new program. Oh, great. That sounds terrific. And, and the folks of you that are out there, if uh, you would like to have a copy of Tim's charts today, drop me an email and I'll forward them on to you. Timmy, we'll have you on again soon, buddy. Stay cool down there in Florida. Of course, oh, you don't have a up big change. That's normal. Yeah, here, that's, <laughs> you're, in her, you're in hurricane season, though, now, right? Right. We just got started with yeah. that and uh, dodged yeah. the first one, that weird storm that started in the Pacific, yeah. cut, cut across the Yucatan, and <laughs> wow. almost hit us here in Florida. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we have Miami, the, we're a little north of our, that. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. 
our monsoon season starts today here in the desert in Tucson, and we get these rains where it rains for 10 minutes, but it gives you three inches of rain, so you got to be really careful that floods okay, the streets carry and a bucket the with you, huh? creeks and stuff, yeah. <laughs> Listen, have a great time, buddy, and stay on the green side of the grass, okay? Will do. Thanks so much, Larry. We'll All right, buddy. To Love you, pal. Take it easy, Tim. Tim Boss, right. folks, Financial Cycles Weekly. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Okay, folks, I posted the chart yesterday uh, before the open of the natural gas where we had a ABCD pattern ending there at 801. The high was 801, excuse me, 802. And from that level, of course, you know, we did have a, a pretty significant correction that I'll bring to your attention here in just a second. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And here it comes. It's gone a lot lower than this, but this is the, where it was. Last night, you'll be able to see now, people say, why I show all these things, they always work. They don't always work, folks. My goodness, if we did, had took time to do the ones that didn't work, this show would be five hours, not one hour. But there's the perfect ABCD. What's interesting about this, folks, the number of bars from low to high in the AB equals the number of bars in the CD leg. When you got the AB and the CD leg lined up in type and price and time together, that, that's an ideal situation. Now, that's what we had in the soybeans. Now, the soybeans have made the first objective here. They're down 20 cents. You're risking a nickel to make 20. So that's pretty much it. If you did the bond trade this morning at the 382, that's up 1,500. 
And uh, those are the ones that we were trying to talk about. The crude oil trades happened long before this show started, so that's pretty much it. Now, the markets are going to be closed on Monday for the national holiday. I believe it's the very first national holiday, a tribute to uh, slavery, which uh, unfortunately left a black mark uh, on us uh, through the years, but that's all part of development. You know, if you're lucky enough to, to not be a slave, you were pretty lucky. But if you were a slave, it was pretty tough. But boy, a lot of slaves came through for us, folks. So you'd have to have a long list of people that uh, did a wonderful things for us, you know. Uh, so in, anyway, let's don't get to talk about that stuff. Anyway, let's do our best to help people over the weekend. Now, uh, we got the summertime coming up. Gasoline prices are going lower, folks. You can forget about it. The top is in. Uh, that 382 retracement they had this week said goodbye. And uh, we're going to see about a 20 or 30 cent drop in uh uh, oil and uh, crude oil gasoline prices and i'm sure the government will take uh, you know advantage of that anyway that's what we're watching live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may god bless 